Johnny O'Neill is one of the last vocalists and pianists on earth who embody the tradition of singing and accompanying yourself. Mr. O'Neill's style is comprised of many prominent innovative musicians, Art Tatum, Fast Waller, Ahmed Jamal, and Nat King Cole, just to name a few. I can't leave out that he was also a jazz messenger, go Art Blakey. If you were to hear Johnny O'Neill play a set, you could hear everything from a slow, low down dirty blues to an up-tempo virtuosic standard, or a lush ballad sung and accompanied with style and grace. Johnny O'Neill's style brims with feeling. There is no way you can't experience emotion in his performances. For five decades, Mr. O'Neill has been perfecting the art of reaching people through song. His latest recording is entitled In The Moment. It's on the Smoke Sessions Records label. It's definitely swinging. It's got a vibe. <laughs> I first met Mr. Johnny O'Neill in Toledo, Ohio in 1995. I was still a teenager, and Mr. O'Neill was definitely more seasoned than I. I will never forget him playing a rendition of the standard Cherokee. He started to tune off at some breakneck tempo, like one. Something like that. Ding, 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 ding. He then played the melody immaculately. He then comped with extreme care and listening. Keyword there, listening because he was playing things that were relevant to the soloist. His comping not only supported the solos, but it pr propelled the groove of the tune. After that, he played an incredible multifaceted solo, starting off with simple riffs, then developing those simple riffs into more elaborate themes. Then he went into bebop vocabulary. And finally, he built the solo up into a frenzy with stride piano. The audience was ecstatic, and the cats were like, this cat is about it. It's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I ain't got nothing but the Lincoln Center Blue. Yes, it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I ain't got nothing but the blue. Just a few years ago, Mr. O'Neill and I shared the bandstand at the Rose Theater with the Jazz and Lincoln Center Orchestra. He was a special guest on a show celebrating the artistry of Billy Strayhorn. He brought such a level of nuance, clarity, style, sophistication to all of the music. He is one of the experts on delivering a song and telling a story. He'll be 65 this year, so don't miss hearing him live. Wherever he is, find him. This is why Johnny O'Neill is about it. That he is daydream just like me. At the end of this season's Bowdy, the featured artists will vote amongst themselves on who they think is Bowdy. The winner will receive a cash prize and a serious award. We are asking for your support to fund this campaign. The proceeds will only go to these legendary musicians. Let's lift up those who are really Bowdy.